Sabotage is the blackest of black arts, and many entertainers are highly skilled at the craft. From ousting stars from the franchises they helped create to deleting their competitors' instas, here's an illustrious lineup of celebs who hijacked, undermined, derailed, and in some cases, destroyed another star's career. Iced Out by Iron Man Fans of the Iron Man franchise probably remember that it was Terrence Howard who originally had the role of Colonel James Rhodes, only to be replaced by Don Cheadle in subsequent movies. According to Howard, it was Tony Stark himself who ensured Howard didn't return for Iron Man 2. During a 2013 appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Howard was all too happy to explain why he hadn't continued playing the role he originated, claiming he was ousted from further installments of the franchise due to shady business on the part of the film's star. The person that I helped become Iron Man took the money that was supposed to go to me and pushed me out. Howard claimed he'd inked a three-picture deal before the film went into production. After the first film proved a massive hit, producers allegedly changed their tune. They came to me with the second and said, look, we will pay you one-eighth of what we contractually had for you because we think the second one would be successful with or without you. Howard allegedly tried to call Robert Downey Jr. but said the Iron Man star didn't call him back for three months. Two words for that, messy boots. So not cute. Internet influencers Lele Pons and Amanda Cerny were the bestest of BFFs back in 2016, until Cerny allegedly caught Pons deleting all her popular Instagram posts in an attempt to sabotage Cerny's career. Cerny revealed it all in a post she wrote for The Dirty. I began to notice my photos being deleted, my videos being deleted, and my account being put on private so no one could follow me. Then she allegedly saw Pons messing with her phone at a party. The confrontation was inevitable. Cerny continued, writing, I asked her face to face and she looked like she was lying, and I demanded the truth from her. She admitted to it all. Not so smooth sailing. Jax Taylor and Stassi Schroeder of Vanderpump Rules had a pretty rough relationship. According to an interview Taylor gave with The Daily Dish about his relationship with Schroeder, she's broken some cell phones, she smashed my face with a tennis racket, she keyed my car. But according to Taylor, Schroeder's crowning achievement was when she sabotaged one of Taylor's modeling gigs. He recalled that he booked a modeling job for Carnival Cruises, but Schroeder wasn't having it. Once she learned another woman was part of the picture, Taylor claims Schroeder took matters into her own jealous hands. Taylor recounted, She called up the client the night before or got on the email and said, He's not doing this job. It's with a girl. According to Taylor, he had absolutely no idea Schroeder had effectively meddled with his career until waking the next morning when the gig had been unceremoniously canceled. He told The Daily Dish, They're like, yeah, we found somebody else. The client's like, I don't need this drama. I don't need your girlfriend emailing me. In Schroeder's defense, those carnival commercials are pretty racy. As for Schroeder's future flames? Good luck. Good luck, and I hope you have some thick skin. Transformers Retaliation one surefire way to sabotage someone's career? Brand them insufferable, unreliable, or otherwise undesirable. Megan Fox maintains that Michael Bay had a vendetta against her after she called him out to Wonderland magazine while promoting Jennifer's body in 2009. She told the publication, He's like Napoleon and he wants to create this insane, infamous madman reputation. He wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is. So he's a nightmare to work for. Well, that was never going to go well. Bay reportedly retaliated by having Transformers Revenge of the Fallen crew members besmirch Fox in an open letter that referred to her as Miss Sourpants, a porn star, and dumb as a rock, among slightly more colorful language. Fox was summarily replaced in the Transformer films by model Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Fox acknowledged her comment was unwise and says being fired by Bay led to the darkest phase of her life thus far. She told Cosmopolitan UK in 2017, It hurt me and a lot of other people. However, that darkness that descended caused enormous and brisk spiritual growth. According to Fox, her treatment is a symptom of a larger problem in the industry. There's not a lot of <clears throat> concern for what's right for individuals. One Bitter Divorce In 1996, actress Sandra Locke walked out of a courtroom with a handsome sum of money after settling a fraud suit against her ex-husband and former co-star Clint Eastwood, who Locke had accused of deliberately sabotaging her career. 
So how exactly did Eastwood try to maim his ex-wife's career? Locke alleges Eastwood convinced her to drop a palimony suit in 1989 in exchange for a lucrative three-year development deal at Warner Brothers. But the studio reportedly kept rejecting every single one of her pitches, and she pitched more than 30. That's because the $1.5 million deal was allegedly bogus and Eastwood had financed the whole thing. As to how much she was ultimately compensated, the Los Angeles Times reported Locke noted, I don't have to worry about working. That's something, at least. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.